Are you all ready for your first headliner of the evening? Yes? Give me a She has the Big D Comedy Show in Fredericksburg, um, and she's an amazing comic. Everyone, let her hear it. It's Sarah Pip Rose, everybody! Very too much so because sometimes I wake up in the middle of the night screaming, ah, Rachel Ray, why will I never be as good of a cook as you? I mean, she even makes dog food now, you guys. Yeah. I don't know how you're supposed to compete with dog food. And I was like, cat food? I don't know. But I do know that I enjoy cooking for my parents, especially my dad, because if I accidentally ever cook something, he always says that his favorite foods are extra crispy. <laughs> so I went to college at VCU. One day I was walking across campus in class, and this homeless guy started to walk with me and talk to me. He was like, what's your name? What's your major? I was like, Sarah, communication? He was like, that's good, Sarah, because you definitely do need to learn to communicate better. <laughs> like, oh, you can see me now, Mr. Homeless Man. Here I am performing stand-up comedy at Castleburg. <laughs> Game of jokes in your face, Mr. Homeless Man. <laughs> Not only that, I get to judge people just like you judge me. So, <laughs> so I'm sorry to seem kind of weird and out of it. It's because I was up all night because my two roommates would not be fun. So I really think it's what time that uh, mom and dad got their own place. <laughs> Whenever uh, people compliment me on my stand-up, I was like, are they really complimenting me? Or are they just like, wow, she actually spoke. <laughs> so um, today, I went out to eat lunch with my salad eating friend. Like, you know, people that it doesn't matter where you go, because we all know what they're going to order anyway. <laughs> That's right, a salad. But, um, next time, by taking them to a Chinese restaurant, because, joke's on them, there's no sauce there, you guys. <laughs> when I first started doing stand-up, all I can think about is, man, this is going to be so awesome. Then you get up here, and everyone's just staring at you, <laughs> judging you, because some of you are judging me, and some of you are scared to make eye contact with me right now. <laughs> and the rest of you are still trying to figure out Chinese restaurants do have salads. <laughs> no, no, no. So, um, I don't know about awesome, but it's definitely awkward. So, speaking of awkward, I'm seeing you guys. <laughs> Woo! Go girl. I mean, I don't get it because I'm like a 10. <laughs> 10 likes on Facebook. <laughs> Twitter, I may be somewhat super amazing. <laughs> so my last one, I was like, Sarah, I think we'll get married, settle down, have a family. I was like, okay. So he broke up with me and married somebody with a 10 year old. <laughs> like, talk about a quick bitch, guys. <laughs> so as a single person, it seems like everyone's on online dating, dating apps these days. So I thought, how did people meet people before online dating? I was like, oh yeah. I think there are these things called singles groups. So I thought maybe I'd check out one of those. So I get there, and it's just me and a bunch of 80-year-old widows. <laughs> so guess what? I'm still single. <laughs> While we may be sad and all alone, at least we have each other. <laughs> I'm kind of introverted, but I also like to go out and meet people. But the problem is, as soon as we go out to meet people, all I can think about is, man, I sure would like to go home and watch a movie. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's why I drive an RV, so I can be home and on the go all the time. And Billy Madison is always just a road trip away. <laughs> I don't really drive an RV, I drive an SUV, but I used to have a Corolla, so it's pretty much the same thing. <laughs> Especially if you try to parallel park it. Yeah. So like I said, I'm kind of quiet, so I thought I'd like dating a mime. But I'm very into creativity, and I don't think he could really think outside of the box. <laughs> Not only that, I don't think he could even get out of the box. <laughs> His mind's under. <laughs> uh, trapped in a box, you got. 
<laughs> um, that would be another way I could meet people would be to go to a party. So I thought maybe I should take someone with me, but nobody wanted to go, so I brought a cake. Damn, as she told us, struggle is real. So at the end of the night, I went to get my cake to take it home with me, and suddenly I started holding it, and I was like, that's my cake. <laughs> so I was like, that's your cake. What do you do with all that cake? You don't have anyone to take it home to. Oh. 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 Excuse me, lady, I live with my parents. <laughs> I've got plenty of people to take it home. <laughs> so parents raise the roof for the ones that raise you. <laughs> That's what I say. So my dream guy, you don't have to cook for him because he can find food on his own. He's not afraid to go out at night because he's not scared of ghosts. And he's always up for a good chase. <laughs> yes, you guys, I'm Dave Pac-Man. <laughs> All I can say about that is, wanna wanna? <laughs> what they say, once you go pack, you never go back. <laughs> and that's that. <laughs> so, I try to get sports, but I have a hard time getting into sports. Because whenever I get a player, they always get hurt. Like growing up, my favorite baseball player was Nomar Garcia Parra. He broke his wrist, and he was always getting hurt. So I tried hockey, and all hockey players like got hurt. Same with football and basketball. So I was like, what? I guess I'm just your typical girl attracted to broken men I cannot fix. <laughs> <laughs> Last summer at the baseball game, I'm pretty sure I met the man of my dreams, but the other man, security, did not approve. All I could say was, Miss, please put no more Garcia Parra down. Cardboard cutouts are not for sale. <laughs> but why, why can I not take no more home with me? I don't understand. But hold on, maybe I did. There he is, you guys. It's no more Garcia Parra. <laughs> it's like the back says, bring home your hero. Because I did, and there he is. He's coming home like his dad with a brass show on a basic <laughs> So, hardly anyone will ever come out and see me perform comedy. Like, like anyone's gonna come visit me when I'm old and all alone. If anyone does come to visit me when I'm old and all alone, It'll probably just be to rob me. No one's like gonna steal. I guess these jokes, because the words of NBA Jam, they're heating up. <laughs> and that's a sad trombone if you didn't get that. <laughs> so, just so you know, once upon a time, I did have this romantic boyfriend who would open doors. Whenever we go for a walk, he's like, I have to walk on the side of you closest to the street to protect you from getting hit by cars. So I was like, oh, she's always not dead. But my boyfriend is. <laughs> poor, poor Alfred. He never saw it coming. <laughs> but I did. <laughs> it's OK, you guys, because it's a joke. And guess what? Now these jokes are on fire, so yeah. <laughs> and also in the words of NBA Jam, boom, shakalaka. <laughs> so um, recently, I went to Chicago. The boys are like, blown away. Let me tell you, that place is windy. <laughs> like I saw this guy propose to this girl, and of course she said yes, because she was swept off her feet. <laughs> that place is windy. When she changed her mind, everyone was like, oh no, we have a runaway bride. I was like, no, it's more like going with the wind. <laughs> so I'm just me. If anyone else gets bummed when your favorite TV shows are coming to an end, yeah. But I do, and I have a solution for that. You can buy all the episodes on DVD, watch all the episodes on Netflix, but just don't watch the last one until you're ready. Like, I still have not seen the last episode of Smallville. <laughs> that was like a really long time ago. I was like, I'm sorry, Clark Kent, but you're not going to fly away to be Superman until I say so. <laughs> so until further notice, Clark Kent, you are grounded. <laughs> That's a true story. It was like my birthday and I went home and I recorded it. And I was like, I was going to watch it. But I was like, what if I'm going to watch it? It's like it never ended. And I went, one person here is least like me and they wish they'd never seen the last episode of Lost. Like that. <laughs> Not because of that, just because, yeah. <laughs> but, um,
So, why can't life be like a music video? Like, how come it's okay for Avril and Kelly Clarkson to trash their exes' houses and apartments? But every time I try, it always ends the same way. Restraining orders. <laughs> time after time. I think that's a different song, but um. So, uh, growing up in school, I learned some things, but I don't think I can tell you, like, all the presidents of the United States of America. But I can tell you this, peaches come from a can, they are put there by a man, and if I had my little date, I'd eat peaches every day. <laughs> so, I have heard about the band The Briggs, like the Briggs are not super well known, but if the Briggs were to be super well known, they'd have to change their name from The Briggs to The Briggs. Right. You can groan at that too. <laughs> this is kind of like um, a back in the day joke, but they're still around. But um, we're going to go back in the day. So um, back in the day, Better Than Ezra played a show at the 930 Club. I didn't go, but I heard that it was good. Oh, so good. <laughs> well, you guys, you got the President of the United States of America, so you should get the Better Than Ezra. <laughs> But yeah, they're also supposed to play a show in Richmond, but they got canceled because they didn't sell enough tickets, and that was not so good. That's a true story, so yeah, we need to do better. <laughs> um, so also, um, back in the day, Travis Barker was not known for marrying Kardashians. No. He was still known as one well of the naked guys in Blink-182. <laughs> Hopefully, technically he still is, but every time I turn my TV, it's always like, Travis Barker and the Kardashians. Which is worrying me so much, so I feel like they're going to change the TV show Travis Bark and the Kardashians. And, yeah. But um, also back in the day, I did my speech on um, speech class about Blink-182 and the What's My Age Again video and how they're now known as those naked guys. And the conclusion of my speech was they can now afford clothes, they just choose not to wear them. <laughs> <laughs> it was very in-depth, you guys. And um, during my speech, the fire alarm went off. And we all had to go outside. And then we came back in, and my teacher, Mr. Majewski, was like, what were you doing? He's like, oh yeah, Sarah's up there talking about those naked guys in the fire alarm and all. I was like, that's right, Mr. Majewski, because it was just too hot. <laughs> too hot lady. You gotta run for shelter. You gotta run for shade. <laughs> and that's coolio, I don't know. We got coolio down because it's just too hot. So. We could also do a call back to Billy Madison on that and be like, it's too damn hot for a penguin to be just walking around here. And I don't know if that got too weird, but um, yeah. <laughs> So I want to hear about the band Goldfinger, like uh, Travis Barker played drums on one of their albums. I just bring it up because that's what we call it, a transition, but um, <laughs> you guys really know about this, but um, Mike Herrera is in MXPX on Travis, but I don't know if anyone knows him from that, yeah. So um, he's in Goldfinger now, which is weird, so like, back in the day, Mike Herrera was not known as a wallflower in Goldfinger, no. He was still known as a chick magnet in MXPX. <laughs> Hopefully somebody got that. <laughs> but, um, so Goldfinger also had this song called Mabel, and it's like, Mabel, she's the bomb. She got me thinking, I was like, the bomb? That's like the bees knees phrase of the 1990s. Or like, can you really say the bomb a lot nowadays? Like, I don't know. I feel like if I'd be like, you guys, you gotta come to Castleburg. Game of jokes is it's the bomb. I don't know, but I think this place may get evacuated quicker than my blink on a two speech. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not find out. But I'm Sarah Pip Rose, and I hope you enjoyed that. I'll see you later. Yeah! yeah. One more time, we're Sarah Pip Rose, everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah.